Oh, this whoa. Good. Oh, wow, well, that was a lot of fun. Going well, up. Brakes and sliding and <laughs> like that. It, on purpose. it wasn't even on purpose. I was launching over those water bar jumps trying to keep up with you and the torque of that motor. And I just was struggling to keep up. Anyhow, bigger control will make this thing just a fucking animal. It, 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 we are yet to unlock the beast. Yes. But... Alright, we just picked up one problem here, and that is this cable is rubbing down here on the swing arm, so that's not really positioned in the ideal spot, so that we're going to need to move that. And just, just on that note, this morning before we started out, we picked up that we actually had some rubbing on this brake cable. Now that was in the standard position and for some reason the disc had been rubbing on that cable. It's worn away the plastic outer coating down to the braided line underneath. Now we've relocated that cable up a little bit higher. We've zip tied it up out of the way. So it's all good now. But this one here, need to keep an eye on that one. Cables do need to be shortened. That was one of the yeah. things when we put it in. We wanted to work shorten. out measurements and so forth. John was saying he wants to shorten shorten cables. those cables. Okay. And we can see why now. All right. Yep. It was actually caught, so it would have been limiting suspension movement too. Wow. Oh, yeah. Bottoming Drilling. out. Yeah. Squashing that cable. Yeah. Which we'll call a short. Call yeah. A short yeah. That would be very bad, yeah. especially out here. We could have one of those uh, bonfires with a bit of stealth bike. <laughs> Oh, no, we don't need that today, especially. <laughs> All right, let's move on. So you did say that that wheel is what you thought about, did you say 8 kilos heavier? I, I would have thought 10, they said 10. 10 kilos so heavier that wheel. It. She looks like, yeah it's 2. 2. So it is a, um, a pinch flat, so we've got a double, a double slit in the tube where my thumbs are. So we've got a pinch flat coming down those rocks and that's the one thing we're actually afraid of with a heavier wheel. Was um, was the force hitting the tyre? Now you did say you had the tyre pumped up a little bit harder to try and offset that squashing effect with the heavier back wheel. But <clears throat> yeah, I just didn't have the angle right. Yeah. Give me a second. I'm just gonna put another cable on. Just right the cable. One. If we can connect it there, I'll be right. Come in this way. We do have an issue with the electronics now where we've reconnected everything, reconnected these cables and they are too long but all we've done is just connect them out of the way for the moment temporarily and we've definitely got the three phases connected correctly as in yellow yellow blue blue green green and the five pin uh, controller brain cable I'll call it that actually controls everything we double checked we do have that plugged in correctly and now watch what happens when we turn the throttle it's not 
going everything was going good until we got the flat just up the hill there we had to disconnect everything to remove the wheel it kind of sounds like the issue I had with my bike when the phase whatever you call them sensors actually burnt out in mine and John had to do a full replacement on those sensors in my back motor which is the one and only major failure that I've had we have a bent pin or the pins see okay I think maybe maybe we'll be I'll get the bike maybe we can straighten it that's a pin is bent it's not quite connecting correctly but on top of that look where we are we're out here in the middle of nowhere about for nearly 10 kilometers from the road where we can get a car to come and pick us up that means a very long walk and I think we may have an escape plan because this bike's not rideable okay we've cleaned up our mess we're now pedaling only Jason's got no power at all so we're pedaling this is not how you ride a stealth bike up a hill pushing what we worked out to be and we'll disclose that now 73 kilos of mountain bike up the hill because we have a mechanical failure in the motor okay we've performed a rescue well, we're about to where we've come out in Jason's truck and then when I said truck have a look at this thing we're talking Chevy Silverado what an absolute beast and ZR2 6.2 litre you should have heard this thing coming out here it was awesome I kind of uh, did that deliberately <laughs> so, so you knew I was close but uh, back to the bike um, we actually had to wire, you said deliberately, blue to yellow, yellow to blue, and green to green. That's Unfortunately, that still hasn't worked. So nothing. Nothing there. And if you hear the motor, like the motor should it's like. So, looks like back to the workshop and back to John for probably a tear down in the motor. Oh well. Other than that, it was flying until we took the wheel out. The beginning of the day was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. The first part was great. So we've proven that this motor can work and work well. Um, and until we unplugged it for the flat tyre, after that, it all went pear-shaped. I reckon Sorry. I've walked a thousand kilometres. <laughs> <laughs> we lost a few kilos walking the bikes uphill because these aren't meant to be walked uphill, let alone ridden anywhere without power. So... Um, yeah, let's get on the rack, get it home, and we'll get back to the shop. So there'll be an whoops, right? We need some help here. Hang on. <laughs> 